and in a bid to ease to improve the ease of doing business in the federal capital territory the minister of the fct mr mohammed Bello, has called for a harmonized tax administration to help sustain businesses operating in the nation's capital the minister who was represented by the permanent secretary of the federal capital territory administration mr olusade adisola made the session at a stakeholders retreat going on in lagos with a theme towards a harmonized revenue management framework in the FCT. According to the minister, the ministry is working with other relevant agencies to mitigate the challenges associated with revenue collection in the territory and attendant issues of multiple taxation. On his part, Executive Chairman of the FCT Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Abdullah Yata, says the issue of double taxation is adversely affecting the ease of doing business initiative of the government. He is also calling for collaboration with stakeholders to form a new way of working to achieve their shared objectives. But uh, Chairman, this retreat is a peer and a peer review uh, arrangement to strengthen with the objective of strengthening revenue generation efforts of, our, of the FCT IRS. We believe that the capacities and potentials in FCT is enormous. But we have not done enough to, to tap these latent potentials. So we now deem it appropriate. Let us sit together with the objective of harmonizing our tax collection processes for the benefit for the larger benefit of the resident, but more importantly to to encourage the growth of the mini, medium and small scale businesses in FCT. One of the things we have always felt is that, you know, Abuja is a highly sought after area, just like Lagos. Um, I mean, the land is a gold in Abuja. So it is important that obviously Abuja must be maintained. It has to be well taken care of. The revenue has to be well, well has to be generated because they cannot depend on the federal government anymore with they used to do before. Uh, the federal government too is having its own challenges, so they now have to get on their own feet and develop, uh, develop all the strategies that will enable them to generate the necessary resources and revenue to get the, state, uh, the city going. You want the city of Abuja to be like the Singapore's and the Dubai's of this world. The, it cannot be unless you have enough revenue. And you cannot have enough revenue until all the properties in Abuja and all the places pay their fair share of, of taxes and levies.